This Delta How To video will show you how to flush the lines on your Delta bathroom faucet. To complete this project, you'll need a cloth, a towel, an 8 inch Allen wrench, an adjustable wrench, a bucket or mixing bowl, and perhaps white vinegar. Also, an extra set of hands. Does your Delta faucet make noise whenever you turn it off and on? Well, the most likely culprit is some debris that's become trapped, either in the supply lines or inside the faucet itself. You can clear it with a simple procedure called flushing the lines. To get started, check the aerator that's located at the end of the spout. Use the tool that came with the faucet to unscrew it counterclockwise by hand. Simply unscrew the aerator at the end of the spout. Check the aerator for any debris, and then go ahead and shut off the supply valves under the sink. Now turn the faucet handle on to completely drain the lines. With the aerator removed and the faucet handle in the on position, go ahead and turn the water supply back on. The sudden burst of water may remove the debris that's gotten stuck inside. If it's still making noise, the debris may be trapped inside the faucet itself. Turn off the water supply and drain the lines as you did before. Now you'll need a couple of tools for this part of the process. An Allen wrench, probably eighth inch, and a bucket or bowl. Remove the screw cover and use the Allen wrench to loosen the small hex screw holding on the handle. Remove the handle. Now turning counterclockwise, unscrew the dome-shaped cap. With an adjustable wrench, unscrew the nut at the top of the valve. Then remove the cartridge, being careful to note how it's positioned in the valve so you can reinstall it later. Now you're ready to flush the lines. But what if yours is a two-handle faucet? Well, the process is a little different to get to this point. Remove each of the handles and use an adjustable wrench to unscrew the bonnet nuts. Now take off the bonnet. Then reach in and grab the stem that the handle was attached to and pull it straight up. With the stems removed, take the Allen wrench, insert it into the rubber seat, and tilt it back slightly to catch the spring beneath. Lift out the seats and springs and do the same for both sides. Now once you have the valves completely disassembled, place a rolled up towel in back of the sink and turn a bucket or bowl upside down over the entire valve assembly. You want an extra set of hands or something heavy to hold the bucket in place. Turn both water supplies back on full strength. The water will come directly out of the empty valve body and be diverted back into the sink by the bucket. This should clear any remaining debris in the lines. Turn the water off and reassemble the faucet, making sure there's no debris stuck to any of the parts. Tighten everything securely and turn the water back on. Once you've flushed your lines, your newly repaired faucet should work smoothly and quietly.